All right, so before we begin, I just wanted to update you to let you know that I have updated the Google SketchUp model and I have included several stripped down models so that you can easily take measurements and look at different components up close a lot easier. So if you have downloaded the model already, you may want to go ahead and re-download it. All right, so getting back to the building process, the next thing that I worked on was the L bracket that will be used to help hold up the back side of the lawnmower as shown here in the Google SketchUp image. Also, I should point out that the two bolts right above my hand were from a previous attempt that would help attach the mower to the frame, but I soon noticed that it would not work as I needed it to. Next, I was trying to see how it's going to go about connecting the L bracket to the frame. But I soon decided I would instead first add more stability from the motor frame to the primary frame and then get back to the actual L bracket. So next I went ahead and attached the stability aluminum piece as well as made the L bracket piece that would help hold up the back side of the mower. You can see I secured the stability piece with a custom cut L bracket and you can refer to the Google SketchUp model for the actual dimensions. Next I attached the two pieces that would help hold the lawnmower up which is attached to both the primary frame and the stability piece. Next I needed to create a way to hold up the front part of the lawnmower. The first thing that I did was create another L channel bracket as shown on the left side of the frame. So basically on the right side I'm just replicating what was done to the left side. After attaching both L channel brackets, I constructed the piece that would connect to the lawnmower. Here I'm using a square jaw clamp to hold the piece temporarily in place. Next, after I drilled out my placement holes for my bolts, I could begin attaching the piece. After I finished attaching the front part of the lawnmower to the rest of the frame, I needed to make the front end of the primary frame stronger, so I simply decided to create a second layer as you will soon see. So as you can see, I just created a second layer that has the same position holes as the layer beneath it, but of course a thicker piece of aluminum would have worked as well, but I had a few extra pieces of aluminum left over. Next what I needed to do was build a battery rack and attach the rack to the frame. To 
to accomplish that, I used a mixture of angle aluminum pieces as well as flat aluminum, but you can refer to the Google SketchUp model for the dimensions. Here I'm using the leveling ruler to help prop up the bottom of the rack so that I can take several measurements. Next I marked how long the rack needed to be and then I cut out two pieces that same length. After cutting the two pieces, I could begin working on the piece that would connect the battery rack to the frame and again you can refer to the Google SketchUp model for the dimensions. Next I marked where I may need to trim off some aluminum or to help identify where I could possibly place some hex bolts. Once all my pieces were cut, I could begin to assemble the battery rack. Next I began to work on attaching the battery rack to the frame as shown. Since I was not able to capture a lot of video footage of me doing this part, I recommend referring to the Google SketchUp model for a better visual, but it should be very straightforward. Next I needed to cut a piece of angle aluminum that would attach my electric box enclosure to the frame. After cutting the piece of aluminum and everything looked correctly positioned, I could begin to drill my holes. Next I placed the electronics enclosure on top of the frame just to get an idea of what it would look like. I should also point out that at the moment the enclosure is not attached to the frame but in the future what I'll do is simply screw two nylon screws into the back angle aluminum frame right into the enclosure as shown in the photo. Next I performed a motion test to make sure the frame was solid and stable and that the lawnmower was properly secured. The solar panel I should state is not currently hooked up, I just wanted to see how it would look in that position. Hello guys and ladies that does conclude this video, now I just want to take a break from editing video and say a couple of things before I end this particular video. If you find these videos interesting or helpful, a way that you can show me that is by liking a video or leaving comments below the particular video that you found interesting or helpful. Or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, or you can share with others that you think may find this particular video interesting. So any of those things or many more will actually show me that you guys appreciate all the time and effort that I'm putting into these videos. And it also boosts my motivation to spend more effort and time with trying to make these more informative and trying to get them out on YouTube and on the web a lot quicker. 
So with that said, I will see you in the next video.